Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for this one. I hope you and yours are all doing really well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at a way to reuse some old equipment, save some energy, save some money, dollar, dollar bill, y'all, and maybe add a few years to your life. Yeah. Add a few years to your life. <laughs> we'll see. Check the generator. Yes, master. Life! Life, do you hear me? Give my creation life! Here we are, behind my shop building. Here's the boat that may or may not see the water this year. Uh, this is where I do certain, let's say, experiments and tests. Here's the van. Um, today's test is going to be a fluorescent bulb. Are they garbage? Yes or no? Let's see what happens when I throw this old bulb up into the air. What is that gas? No, it was him, Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt loves Vinny's Aquatics. Do me a solid, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. So what the HE double hockey sticks is inside of a fluorescent bulb? Well, first thing is argon. This gas is inert and classified into simple asphyxiant. So it's very simply gonna kill you. That only means if there's so much of it, there's not enough oxygen, you're gonna die. So argon's not something to worry about. But what else is in there? Mercury. No, no, not that mercury. I mean this mercury. This one is a heavy metal. No, not this type of heavy metal. Come on, stay on topic, all right? We're talking about the toxic heavy metal. Ah, being the inquisitive type, I figured I'm gonna look it up. What happens if you inhale the mercury from a light bulb? Now, you need the mercury. It's the most efficient way to make a fluorescent bulb light. But, also known as Quicksilver, mercury is very toxic to the brains of young children and fetuses. And adults too. Duh. All forms of mercury are toxic to humans and animals, but some are more toxic than others. Now, what does mercury do to your health? Well, <laughs> wait to hear this great list. It deteriorates your nervous system. It impairs your hearing. What's that? Your speech, your vision, and your gait. It causes involuntary muscle movement. It corrodes your skin and your mucous membranes. It causes chewing and swallowing to become difficult. This is just a few of the plethora of fun things that can happen because of mercury. I know what you're saying. You're going, Vinny, how do we do this? How do we get rid of these fluorescents? How do we save the planet? Well, Vinny's going to tell you. Look, if you have these old hoods like I do with fluorescents in them, um, you have shop lights, you have uh, lights in your garage, any place you have a fluorescent light, you can replace them easy as one, two, three. And listen, you don't need a new ballast. You don't need a power pack. You don't need to change the tombstones with these low voltage LED light tubes.
full disclosure, this was my first time using these LED light tubes like this. Um, this type right here, these are 65K LEDs with uh, built-in power drivers. I'm using the same tombstones. And these here, they rotate uh, 360. Let me show you if I can do that real quick. So you can, uh, you can direct the LEDs. There we go, see? You can direct the LEDs any way, and it doesn't matter which way your tombstones are going, these things will line up because you can rotate them. Now, these are very similar. They're not the exact same thing, but they're very similar for the ones you can get for your, uh, for, for anything you have at home with a fluorescent in it. Now, the, the, there we go. Simplest way to wire it is black to black, white to white. That's all you got to do. Now, you probably don't want to plug it into an extension cord like I did, but that's, uh, ah, come on, how many of you, uh, you, you test your electric that way? Now, besides the amount of money you're going to save in energy, besides the fact you don't need any new equipment, you just wire on black to black, white to white. Uh, one other thing I've noticed is there's no hum that you get from your fluorescence and there's no, no flickering. I mean, it's definitely the way to go. It's the wave of the future. Since LEDs are now commonplace back in the day, you could barely get them anywhere and they were really expensive, but you can get these bowls pretty much on Amazon, eBay, you can get them at Home Depot. Anywhere, you just got to know the length of your bulb and you're good to go. And you get to get rid of all that toxic mercury in your fluorescent bulbs. Oh my God. Do you remember butt thermometers? What were they thinking? Now here's a way we can make a difference. Unlike the Green New Deal, this year, we can actually do something. Let's do our part and let's save the world one bulb at a time. Plus, let's put some money back in our wallets. No, Joe, this isn't your money. Look, over there, ice cream. So you gotta check out the prices and don't be intimidated by the wiring. Just, just remember to unplug it first. It's easy as one, two, three. Fish keeping on a budget. That's how we like to do it here at Finney's Aquatics. Please leave a comment down below. And hey, we're about to hit 2,700 subscribers. I never would have thought. I want to thank you. I love all of you. I hope you had a good time. I hope you go out and swap out those fluorescent bulbs for something that's going to save you some money and save you a little stress on your lungs. So let's go out. Let's do our part. Let's save the world, everybody. Let's swap out those crappy fluorescent bulbs and put in some LEDs. Hope you guys had a good time. I can't wait to see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. Woo!